adversity. Someone like you challenging me to a duel? <laughs> I think not. Give up now, and I'll show you mercy. No mercy. Carnage spares no one. Carnage will destroy. And now, Andy Carnage! Andy's is a sordid tale of one too many bug fixes gone wrong. As a result, he now frequently transforms between two polar personalities, the gentlemanly Surgeon Andy and the savage killing machine Carnage. A very unpredictable opponent indeed. Don't turn your back on Andy, because Carnage might just tear you apart. Well, what do we have here? Another racer? <laughs> you couldn't possibly hope to surpass the surgical precision of a medical robot such as myself. I could defeat you with one of my processors tied behind my back. <laughs> behind my back. Now you just scoot along and... and, and... and pick yourself a six-foot hole to crawl into. No one stops carnage! Hey! Ray! Ah, carnage will destroy! Carnage monster! Yeah. Oh my! What happened? Oh, technical malfunction! Technical malfunction, I say! Someone must have tampered with my instruments! Rooligans! Hey, you big bully! Did you really think you could get away that easily? I think not. We want a rematch and we want it now! <laughs> Ultra 8 wants rematch. Well, gosh darn it. I guess that's it then. I'll just go back to knitting my boy a new pair of underpants. Uh. This is it, brother. The big showdown. I'm gonna crush you like the insignificant insect that you are. Not that I never uh, hurt any insects or anything. Cause everybody knows the captain loves animals. Uh, anyway, anyway. The captain will defeat you. Know why? Because I'm Captain Future. And you are history. Enough said. This event features none other than Captain Future. The captain exploded onto the motor seat scene 16 years ago and found instant fame with his over-the-top electrifying showmanship both on the track and the big screen. After entertaining the crowd non-stop and appearing in numerous feature films, he now has legions of fans. Please welcome Captain Future! The captain has returned to rule once again! Oh yeah! That's right. If any of you scumbags want a piece of what I got, the captain is always ready to rock and roll. But remember, I'm Captain Future, and you are history! My reign is over. My sponsors. My sponsors will be angry. My fans. My fans will be sad. Sad. What about 
What about Captain Future Crunch? What about little Timmy? And his Cap Future pajamas? What about my paycheck? exhibition match against a rookie. I can't believe they revived me from my frozen sleep for this. Oh well. Come on, kid. I'll be sure to finish this one quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a very special guest. Frankenstein! Yes, the undefeated Motor Sea champion is here! Thought especially for an exhibition match against the winner of this event, driving a special low-powered version of his vehicle, here he is, Frankenstein! These exhibition matches are a waste of my time. If I wasn't getting paid double for this, I wouldn't even be here. I saw no reason to finish an exhibition match against a rookie. Trust me, I just saved your life. What's the matter? You think you could've won, huh? Don't be so stupid. If you're as good as you seem to think you are, maybe I'll see you in the championship sometime. But I doubt it. So you've made it to the final round, huh? Quite frankly, I'm surprised. I guess everyone can get lucky once or twice. <laughs> Funny how that luck seems to disappear when I'm around, though. No offense, kid. But you might as well quit now, because you don't have what it takes to beat me. The ultimate, the unattainable, the Supreme Combat Racer. Genetically engineered to be the best of the best. Cryogenically frozen between championships to keep him in top shape forever. You love him. You hate him. You love to hate him. Now, fresh out of the freezer, Frankenstein. 
I've yet to face any opponent capable of challenging my supremacy. And this year doesn't look any different than the last hundred. You may have whipped my behind the last time we fought, but my dozer's been fixed up and made stronger than ever before. Now we're gonna see who's the boss and who's roadkill. Whoa! In case you're confused, I'm the boss and you're the roadkill. He's back and bigger than ever! Out for revenge after his humiliating defeat earlier this season, he's been working hard on his destruction skills. This miner has got a score to settle, and with his grandmother watching, he's giving it everything he's got. The Man Hit Miner! I'm back, baby! Don't you know it? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! Oh. Oh, I know y'all couldn't stomach the thought of going on without me. <laughs> Seeing as how y'all got lucky the last time we fought, I bet you're awful scared to see my pretty face again. <laughs> yeah, well, you should, buddy. Well, I never. Picking on an old lady like that. You know, in my day, we had respect for our elders. No, Wuggums. No. No dessert for you today. Bad dog. Bad dog. Hey, I don't know who you think you are, but I'm gonna smash you and bash you in a little itty bitty pieces of scrap metal. I'm gonna do it all real quick now, cause I'm hungry and it's almost dinner time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning champ of the region, the king of the ring, the Manic Miner! While driving his monstrous mining vehicle at work, this bulldozing behemoth discovered that he had a knack for totally annihilating everything in his path. Applying his talent to entertainment sports seemed to be a no-brainer. He is truly a heavy hitter of epic proportions. The man is minor! Don't let my good looks fool you, cause I'm minor than a five-legged mule in a kicking contest. So let me give y'all a bit of advice. Quit now while y'all are still breathing. Just cause y'all are a bunch of rookies and you're new around here don't mean I'll go easy on you. If you're still around at the end of the week, maybe I'll let you wash my bulldozer. <laughs> Gosh darn it! I'd have won if you hadn't been so dang lucky. Ma told me never turn my back on Weasley folks like you. You may be tough, but you got a long way to go to get to the top. And when I get my dozer fixed, you better believe I'm gonna come looking for a rematch.
Greetings, mortal. I see you are a persistent little worm. Bah! There's no need for me to humiliate you in combat. So, I will give you one last chance to flee in terror. Oh, you're still here. How unfortunate. For you, that is. Well then, prepare to bow before the might of this superb vampire. Introducing Vlad, the suburban vampire. Some think Vlad is just a middle-aged wannabe in a vampire costume. But others have learned, the hard way, why this creature of the night is the reigning champion of this circuit. Ladies and gentlemen, the suburban vampire! Mortals, beware! Anyone foolhardy enough to challenge me will incur my full wrath. And that, my friends, would be a very foolish thing to do indeed. Bah! I can't believe I lost to a rookie like you! But your victory is hollow, for you see, I'm actually not very good at this sport. Take you down to get Frankenstein, so be it. That freak's gonna pay for what he did to me. So let's take it nice and easy. Give the audience a good show, and maybe you won't end up sucking your meals through a straw for the next six months. Tank Buzzsaw, the mystery man with a mask. Nobody truly knows who Tank is, but his vendetta with world champion Frankenstein is a hint. A few years back, Frankenstein faced the most talented rookie ever seen. When the fight didn't go his way, Frankenstein, in a fit of egotistical rage, completely destroyed the young rookie's car and severely disfigured the budding star. Is Tank Buzzsaw that starred rookie gunning for a rematch? You be the judge. I'm here to do one thing and one thing only, and that's win! I'd suggest all you rookies out there watching get out of my way while you still have legs to walk on! And Frankenstein, when I get my hands on you, I'm gonna kick your pasty, freezer burn butt clear across the arena! Once Tank gets rolling, ain't nobody gonna stop me! You got some impressive moves, kid. There's a chance you'll make it all the way to the top. And when you get there, give my regards to Frankenstein by jamming a freaking missile down his throat. Ultra 8. Fast. Ultra 8. Too fast for you. Here's Ultra 8! After leaving the space program, he found work as a test pilot for high-speed vehicles. When it turned out that no human could drive them faster than he could, he became a sponsored Motor Siege champion. Please welcome the fearless Ultra 8! Me, Ultra 8. 
Ultra 8. Number 1. <laughs>